All right, what's up guys? Joe Holland here. I am in northern, western Minnesota, just outside of Brainyard. And it's really windy out here and cold today. It's seven degrees, wind's blowing, probably 20. I got out on the ice a little bit yesterday with my good buddy, Nick, but I didn't do a lot of filming because we were so focused on talking about YouTube and YouTube channels and growth and just having a great time you know first time fishing together and we just didn't do a lot of filming the fishing wasn't good at all i never even saw a fish yesterday on the camera and we never caught a fish but today i'm gonna venture out it's pretty tough conditions in the wind i got the truck blocking it right now but i'm gonna venture out into this great big shallow bay and see if i can get some pan fish going on the jig rods with the electronics it's first ice here in minnesota had a long drive to get here to find some ice. Gonna see if we can find something. You got like a, like it's a big shallow basin, what they call a lake here. It's fairly small, I'd call it a pond. But I got here about 500 yards offshore and I'm kind of searching for that 10 foot depth range. So I'm gonna poke a couple holes, first holes of the year for me, and see if we're in the right depth and drop the camera down, see if we got some weeds. Plenty of ice. sorts of ice. Yeah, pretty good weeds right there. Found some pretty good weeds. They don't look too bad uh, standing up off the bottom there. So I'm going to set up and fish it. I have no idea if this is a good spot or not, but there's only one way to find out. Fished that spot about 20 minutes, had nothing come on the screen. So we're gonna make a little move and just keep jumping around until we either find some really green grass or we actually find some fish. We're mobile today, we gotta keep moving. It's really cold out here, so you can stay warm if you're catching fish and not moving, but it's hard to stay warm if you're not catching fish and staying still, if that makes sense. Sometimes my brain gets cold. All right, we got something decent coming in. I'm a little bit of a mess right now. I think it's a crappie. I didn't like that. Oh, there's my bait. We got some action. I just missed a giant bass. I got a yellow perch down there still. Got him. All right. All right. Look at that little crappie. Sweet. Nice. Right in the bottom of the lip. Got him down in the weeds. Caught him on that little tiny, tiny thing. I don't even know if you could see it. But yeah, there you go. There he is, guys. My first fish ever in Minnesota. Nice little crappie. He's probably over 10 inch. I'm not gonna tell you what he is without knowing for sure, but beauty, that was fun. 
did not come easy. Get him back. There he goes. <laughs> we did it. Woo! All right, let's catch some more. That was fun. About to catch a fish. Oh, here comes one. He's coming up. Oh, I missed him. Got him. He's tiny. <laughs> There's my first Sonny. Wow. He is tiny. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Nice. I am stoked. Look at how pretty that fish is. Wow. Look at that thing. That is beautiful. All right, got him. Another Sonny. Sweet. What a pretty one. There we go, that was a better bite. That was a better bite. A little bit better size. Nice. One. Missed him. Boink. Got him. Another one. Another nice one. That one's got a little color to him. Bullheaded. Got a big one on. Big crappie. Big crappie. Got a lot of tug to him. Nice fish here. Real nice crappie. Yes, sir. <laughs> How about that from Minnesota? Wow, got him on the aqua viewer. I would have never caught him. Pegged him in the top on a Northland spoon. How about that one, boys? What a staven crappy. Wow, that's a big one. Nice, 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 nice. We got a measurement on him. He went 14 inches. That's a good crappy. Nice 14 incher. First time in Minnesota. It's not a bad one. Beautiful fish. He was down, down, down in those weeds in that aqua view. 
It's on bite. Wow, what a beauty. Let's get a picture and send them. Hands never get cold, but this wind is brutal out here. Let's get some life back in here. Got him. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. He ate, he ate a lot bigger lure than I thought he would. Little gilly. Good release. Wonder bread. Oh, we got a looker. We got a looker. Got him. A little better. Oh, that's beautiful. That one's got a red dot behind its black spot. I think that's pumpkin seed. Cool. Red ear sunfish? Red ear? I do not know my sunnies at all, <laughs> as you could tell. Look. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. And these guys are fun to catch. They are fun to catch, they keep you pretty active. Got some dark fins on the bottom of that one. Oh, give me that worm back. Guys, this was some cool footage that I didn't notice live, but you see that little bluegill coming in on the bottom right, and I'm freaking out with my spoon just trying to get some attention of crappy or whatever's in the water, and it got some attention of a pike. And the bluegill kind of lifts up, and something spooks them pretty good right there. And you see that pike on the left side of the screen, coming in. oh there he goes i'm gonna slow it down big time for you right here and show you that he goes over and rails that bluegill and he missed him but it's cool to watch it in slow-mo these guys he came flying in <laughs> pulled both worms out but not the hook all right nice guy put him back Let's see if i could rehook these whams We got a crappy on screen. Really would like to get this fish. Nice crappy. Another crappy. Woohoohoo! That's awesome. This guy was flying in the zone. Don't do it back. I like the way he acted though.
Okay, hitting them pretty good out here, guys. It's crazy, crazy windy. It's blowing straight sideways. Blowing like a sieve out here, even in Minnesota. We've got probably 25 to 30 mile an hour winds. It's eight, it was eight degrees when I stepped on the ice. It was seven degrees sleeping in the truck last night. And maybe it's warmed up. I couldn't, I can't really tell with the wind, but it's freezing over pretty quick. I'll show you the one two combo I'm using for electronics on this on this day to catch these fish is I'm using the live scope here and as you can see I'm also using the aqua view I don't know if you can see that or not I'll try to get the footage up for you but we're right in the weeds the weeds are tall they're way off bottom I'm fishing in about 10 foot of water and they come up to about five foot so half the water column can be weeds I found the right weeds is why I'm catching the fish but I'm using this live scope here so this is like my kill range where my lure is if anything comes in that area then i'll i'll watch on the screen there you could do one or the other and still catch these fish but using two is like a left right knockout combo because one i can see them coming in first with a live scope and then two i could focus on the camera and actually watch them pick that that bait and actually get to the hook otherwise the camera the window to see what's going on is so tiny with all those weeds in the way and with a small screen anyway i'm only about a foot away from my bait underwater got him all right multi-species day baby yeller highfalutin yeller perch of course he got all three hooks it's amazing how they can do that All right. Not a bad one right there. Little yellow perch. Let's get it back. Cool. That was cool. Got a looker. Oh, yeah. Liced. He's all liced up. Oh, there we go. That looked better. That looked better. Nice crappy. Alright. No meat or anything on him. I guess I cleared those weeds out and he came over to investigate like a predator will. Absolutely awesome day of fishing. First day solo here in Minnesota. Ended up putting four different species topside. Lost a bass halfway, so I can't count that one. Hooked into a pretty nice bass by accident. But it was really fun. The first probably half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour actually. I didn't do anything, didn't even see a fish. And then I finally got into some green cabbage and saw that bass and some perch and some bait, but didn't really get anything going. And then I did a, a vertical shift. How thick is that ice? Oh, plenty thick, about eight inches. Is it really? Yeah. How come Gull doesn't have any? I just... I don't even know where Gull is. <laughs> Gull's a, a huge lake. It's just four miles that way. There's no ice on it. Maybe it's... It's, get... it's 13,000 acres. Maybe the wind? I yeah, this one probably shields the wind right with all those houses and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's just four miles that way. Oh, and you know what else makes them freeze quicker is if they're shallow. Is gold deeper? Well, it's a 13,000 acre lake and I heard the average is 18 feet. Oh yeah, this one was like uh, eight eight foot, like past where that guy is now on the, it's on a, the, it's oh, a, it, it was only like eight foot deep. Okay. So it, when it's shallow like that, it's gonna cool down quicker. Sure. And then it allows the top to freeze. So like if, if I, goal is uh if it goes that deep i imagine it stays warmer i was just uh, over on gull just looking out i took my boat off a month ago and it's not one bit of ice all the way across for miles wow i come here today and it's just like what the heck yeah this one that guy was crazy no no there's eight there was eight inches okay. yeah it was pretty cool uh, interesting yeah well good luck to you hey you too thank you so yeah great day of fishing guys um the key was for me moving around looking 
and since I brought the camera, I was able just to drop that down to look at the weeds. And the reasons I didn't see any fish or catch anything for the first hour is I wasn't in good weeds. I was in dead, kind of mucky, decaying, using oxygen, putting off gases weeds, rather than weeds that are giving off oxygen and have life. The small stuff's feeding on that, and then the smaller stuff's feeding on that, and then up and up and up till you get into the bigger stuff. So once I found the weeds and the thick stuff and a good mix of weeds too. I, I was in some coontails, some eels, eel grass, some cabbage, and I don't know what the other one was. It, I didn't recognize it from what I've seen in Maine. But once I got into that, it was game on, and I caught those uh, three different species there, that really nice crappie and another couple real nice crappie. And my first bluegill ever. <laughs> and I think that one with the red ear, I don't think it was a red ear. I think it was a pumpkin seed, but I don't know. I don't know my my sunfish so i'll have a friend tell me or you guys tell me in the comments what they were but i think i think i caught bluegill and pumpkin seed for the little guys and i couldn't tell if those were just really light colored crappie or if i'd caught some white crappie and some black crappie i don't know guys i know you're gonna laugh at me for saying that but we don't have anything like that in maine so i'm heading to st paul now to head to the ice show Stay tuned for the next episode, or maybe even some guys that watch my channel, if anybody in Minnesota or Wisconsin watches my channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.